Today we're going to watch Sheffield United versus Aston Villa. I'm here outside Bramall Lane, the oldest stadium in the world that still hosts professional matches. It's really windy, it's a Saturday. It's so windy that my hair is literally like... Today we take on Sheffield United, which is going to be a really, really tough game. Sheffield United, I think, are about 5th or 6th in the Premier League. We're 17th. We haven't been good the past few games. Sheffield United are a really good side. Chris Wilder, such a good manager. They're doing so well in the Premier League this season. You know what? I've got a feeling that we can get a good result out of today's game. I think it's going to be a draw. I think it's going to be 2-2. Two, two. I think it's going to be a tight game. No Mings in the side for Villa. He's still recovering from his injury. Henry Lansbury comes into the starting eleven, which is a bit of a weird choice from Dean Smith. Sheffield United obviously doing extremely well this season. They got promoted with us last season. I think it's going to be a lot tougher game than people think. I think either team could nick it. I said I think it's going to be 2-2. Two, two. I think we can get something from today's game. I think Grealish is going to score. Well, well, then again, actually, I did say it's going to be a draw versus Leicester, and then, well, we lost 4 1. I need to start walking up to Bramwell Lane now, about half an hour till kickoff. I'm really excited for this. I'm going to start walking up now. It's going to be a tight game. I'm excited for this game. Going to Bramwell Lane now. Come on, oh, What are you saying today? I reckon it's going to be a tough game, but I reckon, knowing us, we'll probably, we'll probably win this one. Really? Score prediction? I say 2 1. 2 1, nice late, confidence. A late winner. Well, I love that. I, love that. I reckon Wesley. Oh. Just okay. Up the villa, mate. Up the villa, up what's the, villa, the score? 2 1, villa. 2 1. We begin to score. Yeah. Up the villa, mate. Yeah. Enjoy the game, bud. We're inside the ground. Kyle, what are you saying today? 2 1, villa. 2 1, who's scoring? Uh, please begin. <laughs> time but both teams have been poor especially us target um leaving his man open every time see and again there uh wesley's actually had a half decent game to be fair lansbury hasn't won anything in midfield a couple minutes to half time we've been terrible and so have they that's half finish and it's not been a good performance by us sheffield united haven't been that good either but uh we've been terrible el garzi's done nothing on the wing He's giving the ball away, targets leaving his man there. Surprised I've been saying this, but Wesley's probably been our best player. Um, he's actually got it, moved around a lot, but still he's not having an amazing game. Jack, nah, Megan, uh, but they're taxi kids, I know it. I'm sure the players know it. They just give it to their wingers who try and find um, their strikers in the middle, that's it. Um, it's not been a good first half, nothing much happened. I don't think we even had a shot. El Ghazi target. Wesley maybe, Jack, McGinn, all been poor. Let's come out in the second half and let's fight. Come on, Villa. I think uh, Sheffield United's threat, McGoldrick's look decent, but their wingers just cross the ball in and Engels has done quite well, House has done quite well, look quite composed. But uh, anyway, it's quite in the second half. Come on. 
more entertaining than the first half. Second half is beginning. Let's get in a good performance because that first half was terrible. Come on, boys. I think we've only had one shot the whole game. Sheffield United haven't even been good, they've just broke up our defence. The only good player is House, who's doing well. But Codge is finally coming on. We're playing rubbish. Let's at least get one goal. Come on, Villa. Come on, Douglas! Again, no one's following their markers. Fletch is running to space, he's put it past Eaton. 2 0, that's game over. 20 minutes, well, 15 minutes left. Crap, no one's marking. It's 2 0. He's been awful today. <laughs> They're checking the penalty on VAR. It's taking a while. I didn't think it was to start with. They're checking the pen. I'm not penalty. sure. Time when I get back in my house, I'm saying that we were poor. 
Sheffield United weren't even better than us. Yeah, they took their chances and they did look threatening, but they, they, they just had the same tactic every time going forward. Give it to their wingers who would cross it in and whoever's in the box to try and get their head on it. And it worked for them and they just looked so dangerous because we were poor. Wesley in the first half, I thought, had a good game. He looked sharp. The best I've seen him play. And then the second half, went back to his usual self. Crap, useless, whatever. El Ghazi had the worst game I've seen him play. I've seen, uh, he had some bad games last season in the Championship, but today he was poor. Grealish missed a penalty and was poor. Since Grealish going over to the wing, McGinn hasn't been good. And today wasn't good. I'm not taking any, anything away from Sheffield United. They took their chances and they, we made them look dangerous. Um, they're doing really well this season, but we were terrible. It's another game. It's another away day. Drove two hours there, two hours back to see what? Crap, it's not good enough. We are looking like a relegation side and it's not good enough. Fair play to Sheffield United. They took their chances and they kept doing what they were doing. But our defensively were poor. We won nothing in midfield and it was an all round bad game. I thought in the first half it was a dead game, not much in it in the second half. Terrible. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hit 6k last week. So thank you very much for that, guys. Like, subscribe if you're new. See you in the next video.